Ushtaveti Gatha, Yasna 46. Kam namo e zam guthra namo e ayan ni pairi hava eteus iriam manas chadareti nu et maxnaus ya verezena hecha na edada heus yo es Sastaro regvanto katha thwamazda kshna shaye ahura. Let me. Forty six is a long one. Towards what earth shall I turn to flee? Whether shall I turn to escape? The groups of the herdsmen do not offer me the satisfaction of support. Nobody offers me on the part of gentlemen or of peer. Neither do those who are princes of the land because of the wicked doers. How shall I ever please thee, O mindful Lord? There comes a state that can be very beneficial. Not that the one puts oneself to uh, unnecessary hardship. That's one gives up on the world in supporting them socially and otherwise. And then the reliance on the unseen comes through, and in this case, God. Verse 2. Vaeda tat ya mi mazda na sho ma kam kam Vahyacha kamnana ahmi gerezoe toe aet avana hura rafedrem chang vae yad furio furiae deedit ak sovan heus asha team mananhu I know O mindful Lord the reason why I am so impotent it is only because I possess so few flocks and followers I complain of this to thee investigate this complaint and then support me as a, as friendship would dictate but I specially ask instruction through justice the possession of good disposition. So investigate why the gospel pros prosperity is not so. Verse 3. Kada mazda yo e ukshano asnam anheus daretra efro ashahya frarente veres da esenghais sashyantam Kratavo kaebyo uthaevo jimmat mananhamibyo thwa sastrae verenehura. When no mindful Lord will those bully days arrive, when humanity's life will attain of justice. Through the growing teachings of saviors of understanding, to whom will come with good disposition to help. For myself I chose to fulfill with thy, with you, O Lord. Sometimes I need to change the verb and figure out around the parentheses. Um, there's an easier way to do translation, but uh, verse 4. Atangregvae young ashahia vasdreng pat gae froretoes showethrahia vavahel dahias vadazazobae. Hasvais shathanais aemusto yastem kshathrat 
Mazda move that Jateus Vahvoting Frogae Pathman who chestoes Charat. But, but the wicked doer is restraining those who are a prospering of justice to prosper of the cattle or of the village or of the providence, being notorious, repulsive through his own deeds, who may dispatch from the realm of life. He will be doing the community a service and going on on the progressing paths of good teachings. Now, as much as real progressiveness is not in terms of ethics and such, is not about just making up things as time goes along, the expounding of good deeds, the liberal giving is different than being liberal, the conserving the environment is can be upon the same thing as a conservative, but it's, it's of a different category. A reformist in reforming society and making it better is different than somebody who says, uh, I will keep to the spirit of things and I will make up my own law. Um, that That's different. There are areas where these overlap, but... Um, verse 5. Yevakshaya Sadashtrita Is it Trita? Yeah. Dritayantem Uvato is Vahus and Tus Mithroim Yuva Rashnaj Vas Yeshava Regvantem Vichiro has tat fro de mruyat uzu vet yoe in mazda krunyat ahura. Whatever well informed person may have managed to do without, have ma may have managed to withhold. A righteous doer, uh, which withhold the righteous or the wicked from keeping his vows or engagements so as to come to a decision to live according to the divine observances, that should give due public notice to some gentleman. Protect the convert from further maltreatment, O mindful Lord. So it's important in some ways, to make one's faith not entirely a secret thing, but, again, it's not a hypocrisy sort of thing that, well, I'm going to proclaim it in my desires or what society wants, I'm going to, you know. Um, so we got to do both, inner and outer life. Verse 6. Adyas tem no it na no yat Trujo vodaman heithyangat vozi regvae ye regvae te vaestu voashava ya my ashava for you yatanae but whoever, when thus warned of the converts, shall not go to stand up for him, he shall be banished to the genuine houses of the wicked. A wicked doer is most attractive to the wicked doer. The righteous is dear to whomsoever is of the righteous, since thou createst the first spirits, O mindful Lord. Now, I've heard from some people that when they were into partying and various other things that would be considered vices, that they look back and it's like, how was I ever attracted to those women, those friends, those, you know, essentially I'm the same person, but as soon as I quit that aspect of life, or the other way around, hey, well, uh, you know, these 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 people have enjoy their lives without um, 
this, then, well, so there's a lot of truth to this. A crease of first spirits, yes. Verse 7. Shyathanites Ashem Thrashta Hura Tamoe Das Vamdainayai Fravacha Whom, O mindful, wilt thou commission as guardian for one like me whenever the wicked prepares to commit violence against me, unless he be some one of divine power like thee, such as thy fire and mind, through the deeds of both whom justice is ripened for the consummation, O Lord, this is the teaching I this is the teaching I propose to proclaim to human spirits. And see the the wicked doers being fought it's not because uh -oh, they're not, they're merely not righteous, or they merely don't believe the same. There's a persecution kind of going on, and that's that's the context in the Quran. That's even more clearly the context, um, and it's not oh everybody on their side is, uh, that seems to be on their side just kill no you know only combatants and anyways. So there's a lot missing in this tradition. As I said, there's like really less than one Nash versus the 21 that were Yeva mo e ya e ga e tha e das de a nan he no e da ya ma thris ya tha na is frost ya pate ya get ta ma e ja so it Dva shanha tanvem ahya im ujya to is payat no it dujya to is kachit mazda dva shanha. May not misfortune attain me through the deeds of any one who intends to commit violence against my substance. Rather, may his deeds with hostility rebound on his own body and restrain him from good life, O mindful, and with hostility fail to restrain him from the bad life. And we can certainly protect our property, too. That's our inalienable human right. Um, Verse 9. Who is that faithful one? Who will be the first one to teach me to consider thee the most helpful and the most bounteous Lord as judge over deeds. The believers are, with the aid of good disposition, seeking from me what justice uttered to thee, and what the shaper of the cattle, uh, and what the shaper of the cattle uttered to justice. And like I say, with spiritual masters on the Hinduism list, is definitely the idea that the. Uh, the teacher and the students 
are to encourage each other and teach each other. Verse 10. <speaking in Hebrew> Shmavatam Vamae Afrotaes Vispaes Chinvato Vra Fra Peretum O mindful Lord, grant the power of the, com of the coming kingdom through good disposition as a compensation to doers of right. Whatever any man or woman may contribute or give to me, what thou, O mindful Lord, knowest to be the best for life, and I will also urge thee to adoration of such as you, I proceed all of these on to the sifter's bridge of judgment. Verse 11. Kshatra is you gen karapano kavayascha akayascha thanais ahumering and yae mashin yang verva vachakra dat Diana Yare began Yatra Chinvato Peretus Yavo Evis Paed Rujo Demanae Astayo. Through their political power, the Karapans will join the Kaveys in destroying the second life. Oh, the Kabais, I think, in destroying the second life of men through, well, destroying the life of men through evil deeds. Their own souls and spirits shall terrify them when they shall come to the sifter's bridge of judgment, as companions shall be admitted to the home of the wicked forever. And that's one of the things some groups are trying to do is that's the idea that, well, in the end, we're going to be a terror to ourselves just for being as what we are. Then, you know, so people have been very willful about being a terror unto themselves in this life rather than just saying, well, you know, it's going to continue. Um, but that's the Druj path. We're talking about the Asha path, continuing with verse 12. Yada shasha napta yashu nav shucha turan turah yaus jantrana ya ajashu armato is gaetha frado twak shanha. Atis bohu hem me be moest mananha em yora fedra em asaste ahuro. When through justice among the vigorous relatives and relatives of the friendly tross, there shall arise such as will with a zeal proper prosper the substance of love then shall the mindful lord with the aid of good disposition in the consummation give support to these verse 13 yes zarathustrem radanha mareta shu Naus Havana Feras Feras Ruedia 
Erej wo ad ho e mas da ya hum da 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 hu ro ah ma e ga tha e vo fradat manan ha tem ve a sham e me di hus ha kaim. Whoever satisfies Spitama Zarathustra through preparations. Among men he is worthy to be heard of, and besides, he shall be given life by the mindful Lord, and shall have his substance prospered through good disposition, and he shall be considered well befriended with justice. And verse 14. Zarathustra kaste ashavar vapu mazo e manga e keva veras ru india e vasti atavok vavishtas po yahi yengstu mazdad hademo e Nina Sahura Tengs Bayavan Heus Ukdais Mananhu. Who is a friendly justice worker? Who would like to be heard from for the Magian cause along with Zarathustra in the crisis? Kavai Vishtaspa. O mindful Lord, whom thou wilt unite in thy same abode, them am I inviting with utterances of good disposition. Verse 15 is uh, pierced. Is it? It's broken here, isn't it? Ha. Ha echadas pavakshya ve spetaman hu yada thang vichayatha adathas cha thais yus shyothanais asham kshmaimya dadu ye yais da thais pau yais ahura ya O fresh ashtra havagva go thou with the faithful to where we both desire to be, with those who are beloved, where love follows along with justice, where are found the treasures of good disposition, and where mindful Lord, where the mindful Lord dwells and prospers the kingdom. So the kingdom prospers because it's accepting of, you know, Love is not confined to what's good. Certainly there's love of evil and all sorts of things that maybe we shouldn't love or maybe we shouldn't love the most. But where it's right, this was being talked about. It's not that God only dwells in one place, but verse 16. Vera shastra thratu ared rayas Eri vog vatais, yengus vahe ushta stoe, yatrasha hachainte, armates, yatraven heus, mananhu, ishtakshatrem, yatramas dae, varedemam. I will inform you, O you, Hach Ataspa, and of Spitama, you know, the rest of his tribe. 
you know, the rest of Zarathustra's people, ethnic people, how to sift the clever from the foolish, and there's some parts missing, um, with these deeds you maintain for yourselves justice through the first decrees of the Lord. Not Lord in the sense of Baal or in the sense of some other things we may not mean. Um, verse 17. Yatra veapshmani sanghani noet anapshmam venjamaspavogva haravasta vahmeng serasharadanhu yevichenat. Da them cha da them cha dan graman tu ashamaz da yahuru. So that in the place of trouble, O Jamaspa Havagva, I am uttering for you utterances, not of indifferent matters, but praises of the preparer. Who will have stood for you together with obedience? Who shall sift the clever from the fools through justice, his clever advisory manager, O mindful Lord? And some alternatives for lines 615 to 617. Um, where shall I mention your misfortunes only so as to arouse Mazda's pity? Where shall I sing in metered, not unmetered lines. Well, certainly real revelation would be sort of at the supremacy of such languages, wouldn't it be? Um, there certainly wouldn't be better in translation like there is in some text. Like the book of Revelations sounds so much better in English than any other language I've seen it in. Greek, it's sort of the worst written part of the Bible. But verse 18, Yemebhyayashahmayaschit vahishtamahyaye ishtoish vahuchoishemmananha asthengahmayayenaye asthayadidita mazdasha Kshma kembarim kshna shem no tat moe krateus manan has javichetem. This is the sifting conclusion of my understanding and of my mind. Whoever to me concedes the best of our age, to him would I by teaching the best of my wealth and with the good disposition, but I will oppose hate to those who hate us. O oh, mindful that I am through justice satisfying your will. Without hate, love, hope, and fear form an incomplete set of motivations for and responses to life. When I say hate, we're not talking about hating beings, and this is one passage that agrees with me. It's certain beliefs, it's certain actions, it's... Verse 19. Yemo ashat heithim hachavarashati Zarathustrae hayat vasna ferashotemem ahyae misdem hanenti parahum manevistais mat vispais gavazi tachit moi sastvem mazdava edishtu. Whoever, through the inspiration of justice, may genuinely 
cooperate with me. Zarathustra, which suit my will will earn for him the future compensation and with all expected a pair of calving cows and mayest thou o mindful affect these to whom they best suit and that is it with yasna 46 and ushtaveti gatha but let's see him let's see part four why the names of the Ahura, of the Ahuras have been retained. It would have been very much easier for the present writer to follow the lead of other translatings, translators in omitting the name of the so-called Avestan divinities in such passages as he might have thought demanded their supposed psychological equivalents. The chief purpose of such a substitution has been attained by the mere inversion of the order of the name in the translation, the most suitable apparently being given precedence. A mission of the Vestan word, on the other hand, would have put at a great disadvantage to the reader, who should be allowed to judge for himself in the matter whether the experts have no rule which is not accessible to the amateur. Of course, the writer is not unmindful of that class of readers who prefer to have their thinking done for them. He regrets that they cannot accommodate them. Nor can he accommodate those who urge the, le the legitimate ground that it makes the style ponderous to give the translation of the so-called divine name in each case. The problems are far too difficult and important to admit of such a consideration as style. Comparative religion suggests that the improbability of so excessive a degree of spirituality as would result from the free translation of the sacred names. These divinities must be considered as tribal fetishes, which only late, later moral meanings were attributed when, in later times, the original meaning was lost. Indications of such vicissitudes are discoverable in such evident duplications as Asha and Ashe. Comparative religion may yet solve a problem it must not be hid and there's i'll save part five for another time but think about that is that uh certainly actually one of the things over time is the personification of the whole matter grew and because it grew you had a, and dividing into things so you start out with what the Arabs would call Tawheed, and then divinity in its various names gets thought of as different divinities, and maybe things even branch off from that, um, and certainly certain projections are put upon that, but we don't have to put go to that, and we don't have to be so conservative that we just let others form our conclusions for us. I am trying on this channel to put forth information that is allows people to make their own conclusions and have their own experiences.